So I had a request on how to set valves on a diesel engine. Um, we're going to be working on our Cummins because I got one laying in the shop, but any mechanical engine, diesel engine from uh, early 2000s and before will apply the same. So uh, first off, what is a valve set? A valve set is the gap in between your rocker arm and your valve. Very simple. And when your engine is cold, you need to have a gap in between here. And this is what we're setting right here, this, this space right here. So when your engine's cold, um, all the parts shrink. When it heats up, it expands. So when your engine gets hot up to operating temperature, your rocker and your valve will actually look like this. That's why when you start your mechanical diesel, it'll be loud when, you, when it's cold because this is clattering up, up here. This is the noise that you're hearing. Now, I had a comment when I pulled the valve cover off what to look for on a diesel engine. It said there was some clacking going on, some noise, and that's this valve set, and that will disappear when you come up to operating temperature. If you don't have this gap in there when you first start, what happens is um, your valve will never completely close. In your head, <clears throat> Because the piece is expanded, um, if this is your head, there will always be a gap there because now everything's expanded and it's actually pushed that valve open. So it's very important to have this little gap. On, on our Cummins engines, the 5.9 and the 4, 4BT, the 3.9, it's 10 thou for the intake and it's 20 thou for the exhaust. And what that means is uh, split one inch into a thousand and 10 of those is your intake and 20 for your exhaust. We're gonna be working with a six cylinder and um, firing order on a six cylinder is one, five, three, six, two, four. So if you wanna figure out when to set your valves, there's four strokes to um, an engine. Uh, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. And when um, this is two full rotations of an engine, and the intake and the uh, power are the same function on the crankshaft, and so is the compression and the exhaust. So an easy way to figure out which valve to set is to take your firing order, split it in half, so one, five, three, six, two, four. If you go one, five, three, six, two, four, you know that if one is on compression stroke, then six is on its exhaust stroke. And if five is on intake, you know that two is on power. On a four cylinder engine, your firing order is one, three, four, two. So you split it in half, one, three, four, two. And I, wrote, I write these numbers on my toolbox just in case, but when one is rocking, you set four. When three is rocking, you set two. When four is rocking, you set one. And when two is rocking, you set three. Very simple, and that works for every four cylinder and every inline six um, engine. So this is just a scrap block. I gotta tear this down. It's mild out. I'm gonna see what the inside's like, but for demonstration purposes, it, it works great out of the vehicle. Um, when you're sitting in your vehicle, the engine, every engine turns counterclockwise, so that's the rotation. So that's how you know that the next one, which the next one is gonna fire. Um, I'm turning my engine just on my injection gear here because it's got a nice big nut. If it's in the truck, you're gonna have to turn it off of the main crank pulley, or if you're lucky, you can turn your alternator with a 15 16 socket and really lean on the fan belt and you can wiggle it as you go. So if number two is rocking, that means it's, that it's in between its exhaust and intake uh, stroke, which means that number five is on its compression stroke. And you can, you can grab the, the tappets and you can see that there's free play there. So you know that the cam lobe is on the bottom. We can set number five. So one, five, three, six, two, four. So I know that if I keep going, number four is gonna be rocking. And there it is. Right there, four is rocking. So I know that I need to set number three. Right here. And you can see that the gap 
I got play there. One, five, three, six, two, four. So now we're back at one. So one should be rocking next. And there it is. So when number one is rocking, I know to set number six. So to set the valves, um, you need to first find out which one's your intake, which one's your exhaust. And um, even though the intake runs the full length of the engine, the exhaust is very evident on which, which valve is the exhaust, and it's the one at the back. So I can feel when, when, I'm, when I'm checking my tappets that um, the exhaust has more play in it than the intake. All I want to do is get a set of feeler gauges, and they'll be stamped. Um, 10 and 20 thou or whatever your engine calls for and you want to have a, a, a slight drag on the exhaust with no with no play on there and you just want to I don't know if you can hear that on the camera and if you take a one or two thou larger feeler gauge, so a 21 or a 22 thou, you shouldn't be able to stick it in between there. And all you do is crack the nut loose and turn your set screw up or down to um, give it more or less free play. Take your time, it's very critical that you do it right. You want drag on the feeler gauge, you don't want sloppiness, but you don't want it so tight that you're actually um, compressing the valve. So we'll, um, and that's all there is to setting the valves. Should be done every 50,000 K or so. Um, if you don't know when the last time it was done or it's extra noisy when you first start up your truck, uh, then it's time to set your valves again. It's a cheap way to quiet your engine and uh, make sure that it's running at, at its optimum potential. So here we go. Hey, you're still watching. Great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You never know what you're going to get. If it's got a throttle, we work on it. Help support the channel by picking up a Tape Boss off TapeBoss.com. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.